Hi again and welcome to Extra. I'm Billy Bush. Throughout the last few weeks, we've continued to bring you the latest, most up-to-date medical information about the coronavirus. Today, we start with our Insta-MD, Dr. Dorian. As the cases continue to mount, this is game time. And the fight to flatten the curve intensifies. If this is going to work, we all have to do it. Our extra team of Insta-MDs, Dorian, Ashton, and Oz. This is unheard of stuff. Tackle the latest coronavirus headlines. Dr. Dorian, we are hearing two weeks seems to be when the peak will come. Does that work with you? Yeah, it works with me. I feel like it's going to be different, obviously, in every city. But as a ballpark, let's think April is our month. This is the month where we're going to hit our peak. Should I have reason to be encouraged by that? Because I was hearing other things like May and June. Only to be encouraged like if you were climbing, climbing a hill and you actually see the peak and you're like, okay, we see the end point from which we'll be coming down. So double down our efforts on all the, the three basic things of washing hands, not touching face, those things, distancing. Yeah, this is when we need everybody to participate. Dr. Oz is breaking news on a new test that could provide clues for researchers. There hasn't been a ton of studies, but there have been some, and they've shown that the antibodies of people who have lived through and survived coronavirus injected into those who are ill and critically ill has a very positive effect. Are we going to see a lot more of that? How do people out there who have had it get to a place where they can donate blood? This is exciting stuff. It's exciting. It's been used in past infections. It seems to work for this infection as well. Basic game plan, take the antibodies that kept you alive if you had this infection and give them to somebody who, for whatever reason, can't mount the needed immune response in the right way. How do you donate? You call the local blood bank or the Red Cross. You say, hey, I was infected. I feel okay now. Um, you can take some of my serum, you donate it to us, you put a needle in both arms, circulate the blood. As it goes through, we take off a little bit of those antibodies you've made, and we use them to save someone's life. ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton self-quarantined after a co-worker tested positive, but she's okay. The virus has taught us how connected we are as humans in the worst way, right? We can give this to each other so quickly, and what you're seeing to get through this, we have to show that we are connected in the best way because medical professionals alone cannot do this. No, we can't. The effects we see in two weeks will reflect what we're doing today. Are you saying national lockdown by the government would be a good idea or we just have to depend upon ourselves to lock ourselves down? I don't know the answer to that. You yeah. know, I try to stay in my lane, which is medical. I don't really care how it happens, but as Dr. Tony Fauci says, we don't want to look back and say we should have done more because there are a lot of lives at stake here. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.